So you're moving to Northern Virginia and you're trying to decide between buying a single family home or a townhouse. Well in this week's video, I'm going to break it all down for you with the pros and cons of buying a single family home versus a townhouse right here in Northern Virginia and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. As always, you know it to know the beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because every week I release videos was like to live, work, play, pros and cons, top neighborhoods, cost of living, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. Town homes versus single family homes. So literally anywhere from one to three times a week, somebody reaches out to me who's moving to Northern Virginia from another part of the country. And they're like, hey David, we're looking for a single family home in that 800 to $900,000 price range. And I always follow up with this question, are you open to a townhouse? And nine times out of 10, they say, David, no way, no how. And the reason is townhomes may not be common at all from where they're coming from, or townhomes can be a lot smaller compared to the single family home, or maybe more geared towards first time home buyers, or maybe not in the best parts of town. However, that is not the case with townhomes here in Northern Virginia. In fact, townhomes in Northern Virginia make up a huge portion of the total homes. So if we look at the four major counties here in Northern Virginia with Prince William, Arlington, Loudoun, and Fairfax County, there's about 44,000 total homes, excluding condos. And of those 44,000 homes, 38.5% of those homes are townhomes. Also in the past 12 years or so, the luxury townhouse has become very popular, which we're gonna talk a lot about in this video. So should you buy a townhouse or a single family home? So the first factor is gonna be obviously budget. If you're well over a million dollar price range, definitely go with a single family home. No reason to buy a townhouse. However, if you're like $700,000 and lower, then you really need to consider a townhouse. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna focus on that $800,000 to $900,000 price range because in this price range, that'll get you a much newer luxury townhouse with all the bells and whistles or you can still get a very solid single family home, but chances are be much older, probably built in the 80s, 90s, or early 2000s. So before we dive into the pros and cons of each, what does a luxury townhouse and a single family home look like in that 800 to $900,000 price range? So looked at the past six months of sales in that price range in Fairfax and Loudoun County. So on average, a luxury townhouse is gonna have four bedrooms, four baths, 2,500 square feet, on average built in 2011, so it's gonna be a much newer home overall. However, it's gonna have a very small lot with a lot size coming out to 0 0.05 acres. Now let's compare that to the average single family home, and that's gonna be four bedrooms, four bath, 2,500 square feet. So basically the exact same size as that luxury townhouse. However, the biggest differential is the average year built is 1984. That is a 27 year difference. That's huge, that is absolutely massive. But that single family home gives you a 0.27 acre lot, which may sound small, but that's actually a very good size lot. So as you can see, they're very similar in size, but one's gonna be a lot newer, one's gonna be a lot older. That's why a lot of people struggle when they're in this price range. And in fact, myself, now that I'm expecting my firstborn here in April, I will be looking to upgrade my home here in the next one to two years, and I'm gonna consider a single family home or a luxury townhouse, and I have no idea which direction I'm gonna go in, but I'll just end up having my wife pick, because whatever she says definitely goes in my house. Now the first pro of buying a luxury townhouse in Northern Virginia is they're gonna be a lot newer, and this is hands down the biggest pro. A lot of these luxury townhomes are gonna be built after the year 2010, and even as new as new construction. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of benefits of a much newer home. First of all, you get the latest design trends with these open floor plans with these beautiful modern kitchens right in the middle. The other huge benefit is you don't have to worry about moving in and having to replace the roof right away or change the HVAC right away. So chances are your luxury townhouse will be more moving ready compared to the single family home in the same price range. So another great part since these homes are newer and as I mentioned earlier, they're the latest design trends, a lot of these luxury townhomes will have two outdoor spaces. They'll have your rear patio and the massive rooftop terrace, which I've talked about a million times. I personally have a rooftop terrace at my house and it is awesome. It's nothing better than a beautiful summer day. Sun is shining. You're hanging out there with your friends and family, having a nice little cocktail, which you know I'm definitely having. So it's so great having two outdoor entertainment areas with the luxury townhouse, which you actually don't even get with a single family home. The next pro of buying a luxury townhouse in Northern Virginia is gonna be the size. As you saw earlier, the luxury townhouse square footage is basically the exact same as a single family home. 
Also, all these luxury townhomes will have at least a two-car garage. I've seen some with three-car garage, which is wild. And it's not a coming at all for these luxury townhomes to be 3,000 to 4,000 square feet. That's literally bigger than a lot of single family homes that I see daily. So you have no problem raising a family of four in these luxury townhomes and you will not feel cramped at all. Now the next pro is a lot less exterior maintenance. So if you have no desire to cut grass or hire a landscaping crew, well a townhouse may be perfect for you because a lot of these townhomes will basically have zero exterior maintenance and some of these townhomes, they may have a small front yard and a small backyard to take care of. Maybe get a little, little lawnmower, a weed whacker. But overall, it's going to be a lot less maintenance compared to a single family home. Now let's look at the cons of buying a townhouse in Northern Virginia. And the first con is shared walls. And this is probably everybody's biggest con. At minimum, you can have at least one shared wall. So with shared walls, obviously, you can have a lot less windows. So that's gonna bring in a lot less natural light. A lot of people don't like that. However, if you get the end unit, usually that'll give you anywhere from three to six extra windows, which will give you a lot more natural light. Now, everybody's biggest concern with the shared walls is hearing your neighbors, you know, loud noise, things like that. But a lot of these luxury townhomes, they've been very well built by some of the top builders in the area. And I, me personally, I've lived in Northern Virginia since the year 2000. And 95% of that time, I've lived in a townhouse. And in all those years, I've never heard my neighbor, not even one time. Now we will say this, if your neighbor is having a huge party, blasting music, people are dancing, yelling, screaming, guess what? You're definitely gonna hear your neighbors. Even though these homes are very well built, they're not gonna be 100% soundproof. So just keep that in mind. Now the next con to buying a townhouse is very little to no land. So this is probably my least favorite part about townhouses because I'm a huge fan of a fenced in backyard because I wanna have a nice safe place for my future kid and dog to run around. But if you have a townhouse, unfortunately, most likely you're not gonna get that. Now, obviously there are exceptions to the rule. I've seen a lot of beautiful, especially any of the townhomes that actually have a nice backyard where you can add a fence. But the majority of these luxury townhomes will have very little to no land at all. Now the next con is, these luxury townhomes have a lot of stairs. And a lot of these are gonna be four level townhomes. So imagine this, your office is on the fourth level and you go all the way down to your car and you realize, oh, I left my wallet and keys all the way in the fourth level and you have to run all the way up. By the time you get up, your heart's racing, you're tired. Then you start thinking to yourself, why did I ever buy a townhouse in the first place? But yes, one of the biggest cons of buying these luxury townhomes is a lot of stairs. Now off to single family homes. And the first pro of buying a single family home right here in Northern Virginia is no shared walls. So with no shared walls is you never have to worry about hearing new neighbors and vice versa. You can have your friends and family over, have a big barbecue, playing music, and now your neighbors are not gonna hear you as well. Also, another factor with no shared walls is a lot more natural light because you have a lot more windows. Then the biggest pro of the no shared walls is you're not sharing any walls. You own everything 100%. And it's just a sense of pride of ownership that you're just not going to get with a townhouse. Now, the next pro of buying a single family home is going to be land. So as I mentioned earlier, the average lot size for this price range is a 0.27 acre lot. Now, that does not sound like a lot. However, that is a very good size. You can add your fenced in backyard. The dog can run around, add a little playground for the kiddos, maybe even add a pool if you like. So that 0.27 acre lot that you get with the single family home, is going to give you a lot of great outdoor space that you're just not going to get with the townhouse. Now, the next pro is the single family home can easily become your forever home. As great as the luxury townhomes are, and they're very similar in size at some point you're gonna outgrow it you're gonna want something bigger you're gonna want that outdoor space you're gonna get tired of the stairs and as much as i love the luxury townhouse i know they're not the forever home every single client i've helped buy that luxury townhouse at some point they call me and they say hey david get me out of this townhouse i'm ready for my forever single family home now off to the cons of buying a single family home in northern virginia and hands down the biggest con is they are a lot older Again, for the purposes of this video, we're looking at those homes in that eight to $900,000 price range. And like I said earlier in the video, on average, they're built in 1984. So with an older home, you may move in and realize you have to replace the roof. That's gonna be 15 to $20,000 right there. Or maybe a couple years later, you get to replace the HVAC system. That's $10,000 right there. Also with older homes, chances are your kitchen and bathroom is gonna be very dated. And that's a lot of money, time and effort to, to remodel those. So it's definitely not impossible, but it is a challenge to find a beautiful, updated HGTV style home in that $800,000 to $900,000 price range. Now the next con of buying a single family home is a lot more exterior maintenance. So with a single family home, you gotta worry about mowing your front yard, your backyard, 
adding mulch, trimming the trees, trimming the branches. It is a lot of exterior maintenance. And if you don't want to do it, because I know I don't want to do it, then you have to hire a landscaping crew. And that is not cheap. It costs a lot of money, especially in the summertime. They have to come out every two weeks to mow your grass. So yes, there's gonna be a lot more exterior maintenance owning a single family home versus a townhouse. So should you buy a townhouse or a single family home? Well, only you can answer that question. But I will tell you this, if you're in a position in life to buy an $800,000 to $900,000 home right here in Northern Virginia, guess what? You're doing very good in life. But if you want to jump on a call or Zoom and kind of discuss what the best options are for you, reach out to me. You know I got your back. And if you want to learn more about living right here in Northern Virginia, check out these videos right here. They'll be great resources for you. And I'll see you on the next video.